Good afternoon folks, my name is Alex Stanhope and this is a short presentation about getting containers into production and doing it really fast. So with a containers journey, it can feel like a massive uphill struggle because there's a huge amount of cloud stuff that needs to be in place to really run containers well in production. But what I'm advocating here is that we can actually start from a very secure and simple base and use iteration to progressively move to a more and more advanced platform to enable all the kind of things we need to be able to do with our production containers. Um, this can take weeks, not years, and what we're going to try and do is manage the complexity that's built up during this process with testing. Also, pragmatically, we can cut corners here. And working out what the corners are we can cut, what services we can buy in from some of those hyperscale providers like AWS and Google and, and Microsoft and so on, um, what we can do to deliberately accumulate some technical debt in the short term so that we can get our containers into production and then progressively build up the environment as we need it to be. Docker, love Docker, fantastic. These containers have completely transformed the way in which we deploy code, and it's making a huge difference the way application teams are developing those applications. Um, however, not so simple when we actually need to manage them. Here is a long list of stuff that we need to do with managing. There's more information in the blog post if you want to check it out, but this is just the beginning of it. Sorting out uh, the patching and updating of those containers, making sure that they re respond reliably when things go wrong, um, managing the performance in such a way that when a lot of people use our service, we can, uh, we can reliably keep up with, our, with the demand. But equally, making sure that we're not, we've not got a ton of unused resource that's sitting there costing money without, um, without really delivering value. Uh, good architecture, making sure the coupling is well managed so that we can detect new services as they come online. And this list goes on, I won't go into too much detail. Suffice to say, the goal here is not to try to do it all at once, but instead automate progressively. Um, don't do it all in one go, don't try and do it all initially with um, managed in-house resources. Instead, let's use the, the services that are provided by these hyperscale providers to get a good platform. Um, a great example is something like uh, AWS Container Registry, where by using that registry service, we can upload our containers very, very simply, very uh, well integrated with many dev and CI CD pipelines, but the containers are scanned. We can use the information about security vulnerabilities to improve our code and make sure that the container is well prepared for what we're gonna do next with it. Obviously, container by itself isn't much use. We need to put it somewhere. So the goal here is having started with our security, um, we're managing a threat surface um, right from the ground up, starting with a hard hardware level, OS, container, um, any application dependencies, libraries we might rely on and so on, and the application code itself. Critically, if we're cutting some corners and using some online services rather than building it all ourselves, the value in this is that we can um, uh, move faster, and we don't need to worry about the security of all these different tiers. Instead, we can focus on the container upwards because by using something like um, Google Kubernetes Engine or Amazon's Elastic Container, um, Container Service or Elastic Kubernetes Service, we can actually host our uh, Kubernetes pods directly in the cloud rather than having to build out an on-prem solution. Now, on-prem is a great way to grow. If you've got the resources, if you've got the in-house team to support it, um, if you've got the machine set up and the uh, expertise in-house, fantastic. But in terms of getting something up quickly, I strongly advocate, uh, advocate considering something like um, Google or Amazon's platform, or in fact DigitalOcean, who have one of the most um, economical cloud platforms for hosting Kubernetes pods. Iterate. All of this works because we can start with something small and then progressively build it towards the kind of closely integrated and elaborate solution that we know we're gonna need at some point. Um, I think the, the goal here is to make sure that the release process is lightweight and easy. If you'd like any help with this, please get in touch. Otherwise, best of luck.